The factory design pattern solves the following problem. How to allow the other developer who is using our code uh, to um, get objects that represent uh, specific things uh, without the need to know all details about all classes, uh, which classes exist, uh, which constructors, how to uh, use those constructors, uh, which methods should be invoked in order to uh, configure the new created object. The factory design pattern is about solving this problem and the solution is very simple. We need to define a method, a method that receives um, as one or two, uh, as many parameters as we decide. Uh, we can start with uh, some, something simple, a method with one parameter, and tell the other developer that he just need to invoke this method, pass over a value which is one of few options we tell him about, and this method will do everything will instantiate the require the the, 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 the the right class uh, if needed uh, this method will include the invocation of various methods uh, on the new created object and eventually this method will simply return a reference for the new created object so that uh, the developer who is now using our classes won't need to know all details about all classes constructors, methods that should be invoked in order to configure new object, he doesn't need to know all that. He just needs to know that there is a method, a factory method, and he just needs to pass over uh, a parameter, uh, a, a parameter which is one of the uh, a few possible values we tell him about. That's all. The factory method create a new object, it instantiate the correct class uh, um, if needed, it also invokes various methods on the new object and returns the reference for that new object. That's all. Let's execute this code. As you can see in the output, is exactly as expected.